backpacking across the Spanish island of Mallorca. It was time to go on the first adventure of the year. Mallorca was the destination, but it wasn't the type of vacation you'd normally expect. No sunbathing on beaches or drinking beers next to the pool. I'd be backpacking across the mountains from west to east, crossing the whole of the island. Roughly 90 miles long, relatively remote in places with over 7,300 meters of incline, it sounded like a great way to see the other side of Mallorca. It was an adventure my body and mind desperately needed. I'm Liam by the way. I live for these type of adventures if I'm honest. I'd be self-reliant just the way I like it. All the gear I needed was in my pack along with food and water. I was ready for whatever nature threw at me. Sunsets, mountains, ocean, you name it. It was a wet and grey morning in Manchester. I couldn't wait to leave for the sun. It was only a two hour flight, not too long. I landed and I was greeted with lots of palm trees. After a quick stop for a few days supplies, I got the bus to where I'd be starting this adventure. This is Port Andrat. It was a quiet fishing town in the west of the island. That was it then, to the hills I went. I couldn't have asked for better weather, I was so happy. The sun was about to set so I needed to be quick. First day is always the most exciting for me, getting off the plane, knowing you'll be setting up camp in a place you've never been before. It gives an amazing feeling of adventure, that's for sure. Nearly up. Nice steep one to start it off. Oh wow, so that is satisfying, getting to the top of the hill, oh look at these views already, so I just came from down there, Port de Andrax, I was just headed up in the hills, Got some work going on, some millionaire mansions, the ocean, oh, I love it. So this would be perfect, but it's obviously quite busy. So, up we go. What? What is this? Oh my, this is just a start. <laughs> I want to keep going, but it's going to get dark. No. <laughs> wow. So that is steep, very steep. It goes all the way down. Here. I never planned to stay at this spot, I just happened to stumble across it. What? What? I don't need to say anything. This adventure has started off well. It was only right to watch the sunset. I could feel the stress dissolve away. I never get tired of these views. I'm just laying down, watching it. Yeah, speechless. Good morning, so I slept really well, seriously well. I uh, I think I fell asleep at about seven last night. <laughs> I was so tired. Woke up at around eight and I just slow time, packed my kit away, ate my breakfast and just enjoyed the view. And I think I'm heading that way, so around the mountain. Yeah, can't wait, should be a good day. With my bag packed, I set off. There was even a trail I could follow. 
this is the exact reason I've come to this place. <laughs> that fireball right there. Oh, it's lovely. 17 degrees it's gonna reach today. Lows of about 12, so that's in Celsius. So not much fluctuation at all, it's perfect. At night it's nice and mild. During the day, not too hot. Mallorca. <laughs> Who would have thought mountains, tracks like this, it's just a holiday destination for Brits really. I'm pretty sure I was the only Brit in these hills. The rest were sunbathing down by the beach. So there are wild mountain goats all over Mallorca. And they're the first two I've spotted. I always say this, but it really was the perfect day for hiking. To be honest, any day is perfect as long as it's not raining. So I've just been taking this little track and I thought it was a route over here, but it's not. <laughs> it's a big drop off. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I've got the best view on the island so far. Look at this. What? <laughs> Missed the wrong way. I got back on the trail and it followed along some huge cliffs. I tried to look for some old cave paintings. I didn't find any though. It wasn't long before I started to descend. I got a glimpse of the first town I'd passed through. I couldn't believe my eyes. I made my way down the steps. This place would have been so busy in the summer, but I had it all to myself. I stopped at a bar, I got a beer, coffee and some water. I swear, the sun and ocean can cure any ailment. I honestly believe that. I could easily just stop right now and sunbathe for about two hours, but I've got about 70 miles to go. Look at that. 15 pounds this flight cost me. What? As always, being next to the ocean, it meant the only way was up. The trail took me around some really rugged cliffs. Every now and then, I'd have to hurdle some trees. I had to climb to get to the top, but it was definitely worth it. The water was so clear. The only thing I needed now... Ugh. Oh, no. Well deserved. Still cold as well. So I've pretty much reached the top of what I'll be doing today. And it's just giving me some amazing views. Nice breeze just to cool me down. And I think I'm heading somewhere in that direction. There's a couple of hills, but I think we go downhill from here. It was so peaceful, I could enjoy nature and take in the fresh mountain air. The cloud had started to roll in, it was like a blanket over the island. After some time in the hills, it was nice to walk along the road. Other than the goats and the odd beetle, it was pretty quiet. It seemed like the weather was about to turn. Just 
just headed towards the top of the mountain. The peak's just there. Kite's just in a cloud, look at this. And we came from the village right down there. So you've got the ocean. It's weird, it just sticks to the island. Like slightly out, like a couple miles out. It just looks really clear. <laughs> so hopefully this will just sweep over in the morning. I'll get some good views. Got about 40 minutes of walking left and then I'll probably set up tent. But I've heard a few gunshots, so hopefully no hunters come through and shoot me by accident. <laughs> Other than that, I'm having a lot of fun. Done quite a few miles today. Legs are feeling strong. I think it's all that sleep I got last night. There you go, another gunshot. I want people really nice. They've just left. Cairns. So you can just follow them. Found the camp spot under a tree, just out of the wind. I had my food, relaxed, and watched the sunset. I woke up to the sun shining on my tent. I think there's something primitive about sleeping under a tree. It resonates with me. I was having a great start to the day until this happened. So, had a bit of an accident. Uh, I was taking away my tent, pulled the pegs out, and I got up too quick. And that flipping branch over there had this huge, sharp, kind of like limb on it, and I just, cut my head it just they went in pretty deep i could feel it and if you don't like blood look away now here is the result <laughs> quite a bit of blood i did well i didn't get it on any of my clothes so i'm happy about that uh, i thought it was gonna bleed out uh, i'm not gonna lie but it's uh, it stopped so i just got up too quick and i think it was on that or something like that I uh, got my microfiber towel and I just kind of been patting it. It's, uh, it's mostly stopped, but ouch, ouch. It's a painful one, I won't lie. Uh, I can't actually wash it because I don't have enough water, really. I don't know when the next refill is, that's all. So I'm just gonna let it dry naturally and then when I get to the next town or village, just wash it off. I was pretty lightheaded, so I took it easy. The path was nowhere to be seen. Luckily, I could follow the pile of rocks people had left previously. This bit is really overgrown. On adventures like this, multi-use items are a must. My towel also acted as a bandage. This mountain was brutal. I have taken the biggest detour of my life. I'm supposed to be up on that ridge, but I kind of wanted to follow this. <laughs> and it's just a boulder field. I have to go all the way down. Oh. Killer, killer. I am beat. I just come down from that. It's 
just pure bushwhacking, no trail. Lost the trail immediately. I must have missed it by just a little bit. Oh. I just ugh, can't speak. Legs. I just scratched to anything. I've only got a little bit of water, so I'm just... There's like a property there, so I've just had to like jump over the gate. So I'm going to follow the road to hopefully the nearest cafe or town just to refill on water. And then hopefully jump back on the trail. But that was like four hours of just pure exploring. At least near the coast though. The first water tap can't drink it. I've got my water filter so it should be okay. But first I'm gonna have a wash. Wash all this blood off. The water flow wasn't great, but it did the trick. You don't know how happy I was to reach civilization. It was an old village on the hillside. There wasn't much going on, but I loved the place. Quick update then, so I stopped in a little village called Estelenx. There was one, one little like bar or cafe open. So I got a beer. They filled up all my water bottles. So I've got about, I don't know, like five and a half litres of water, which is great. <laughs> I feel like a camel just carrying it all. So I'm just heading out, hoping to find a place to set up. Just walking through that town as well. I've seen a few people wearing big coats with, you know, like wool hats. You know your life's good when <laughs> it's 16 or 17 degrees and you're cold. <laughs> and I'm walking through with just like shorts and just a little sun hoodie on. <laughs> but they're thinking, what is this idiot doing? I felt a huge sense of accomplishment after the day I had. I felt alive. I knew I was about to sleep well. After waking up, I packed away my tent and set off. I've just come across this place. <laughs> and you can actually stay here. Open to the public, there's like a fire, oil, stoves. <laughs> that was like half a mile away from even a bit of water too yeah half a mile away from where I camped I think that's the fountain I couldn't believe my luck and it wasn't good luck either it always happens to me I swear it was still early morning so I got the miles in while the island slept the birds were chirping the fresh ocean air filled my lungs and I was feeling really good. It was the perfect time for some breakfast. Coffee and a local pastry was on the menu. It was a nice view of the ocean too. I followed the mountain roads until they ran out. It was back onto the trail I went. literally seen nobody <laughs> I'm really enjoying it just so grateful compared to yesterday I'll take this any day of the week so you need them days just to to humble you low mileage just absolute mental and physical just stress <laughs> And you compare it to today, it's just night and day. I'm having fun. It was only right. The only time I'd stop is to take in the view.
I walked until late in the evening. I'm uh, happy with all the miles I've done today. Now let's get to the top, set up before sunset and get some food. Oh, this, these kind of days make it all worth it. It's just the sunset over the mountains. Fresh air, silence, good sleep. That is all you need. I was high enough that I could see the sun start to set over the mountains. The goats seem to enjoy it too. Camp for the night chose itself really. A tree, a vibrant sky and a flat spot. <laughs> what more could I want? I made sure not to get into an accident this time while taking out my pegs. It's pretty chilly today. The sun's just starting to come over the hills. I think it got down to about five degrees Celsius, which in Mallorca is insane. But I'm rested and I think this is the the incline today and then downhill to pretty sure it's down there actually. A little town on the coast. So I can get myself a coffee. It's beautiful all these mountains. Quiet. Pretty remote. This is how I imagine like the Mediterranean islands to look, just exposed. Ah, it's nice. There were some insane drops. That over there, the biggest one, is, I think it's called Puig Major, or Puig Mejor, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's about 1,300 metres, and that is the highest point on the island of Mallorca. I think it's controlled by the military, so you can't actually get up it, but... Hello. They're the highest goats on the island. <laughs> It would take me a couple hours to get down into the valley. It was some seriously hard going on the knees. I made it to the bottom though, eventually. It was a nice change of scenery. The route even took me over a railway. Just look at the citrus fruits. Apparently you can't eat them. It looks all juicy. <laughs> Any normal person would be like, what a beautiful little valley, well, big valley, with a nice Mallorcan town in, the sun's shining. But me, I'm like, this is disgusting, because one way or another, I've got to get out of this town and I've got to go over them hills. That's the only way. So I feel sick, sick to the stomach. They are huge. Look at that. No, oh, not looking forward to that. The size of the mountains gave me an uneasy feeling in my stomach. I 
I sat there eating my food and tried to come up with a plan. Shall I attempt it now or tomorrow? Oh no. There's a cat. Smell the food. I decided to go now. All this is terrace and it's just zig, 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 zig. On the map it looks straight, but it really isn't. Wow. Wow. I really do love walking all day long, from sunrise to sunset. It's even better during the summer months. I'm not quite at the top yet, but you can just feel the cold air. It kind of like sticks to your body and like just sinks down. It's a strange feeling, but it's a lot cooler here than it is like in, in the middle of it. So I'm just heading along the route, but I think that's the incline done. <laughs> I did it in about an hour. So I'm glad that is out of the way. I was expecting to do that tomorrow morning, but I've got about 15 minutes left of sunlight. So the goal now is to find a camping spot. That's what I've just come up right down there. Wow. Yeah, so that is actually perfect. <laughs> I just want to show you a little trick that I do on these long distance trips and for me it works amazing and you just get so many calories from it and it's extra virgin olive oil. This is a 250 milliliter bottle per 100 milliliters. It's about 800 calories, which is insane. So this bottle has just over 2000 calories, just that cheap, relatively healthy and you just pour it in right now. I'm having some couscous and yeah, I can get a few hundred calories more just by adding a little bit of oil. Just soaking my couscous, got a sausage, a wrap, and I'll just add that afterwards. And yeah, you can, I mean, you get like 200 calories, let's say, I don't know, like 150, so 350 calories. And you can add like two or 300 more just by adding a bit of oil. So good. Very good. The morning would take me past the highest peaks in Mallorca. As well as Cubert Reservoir, the morning sun made it look pretty magical. The rest of the day, I'd be deep in the mountains. When it's just yourself and you don't have any signal to connect to the rest of the world, life becomes simpler. I could feel every footstep, the stones on the rubber of my shoes, the sun's rays warming my skin and the trees rustling in the wind. I had no choice but to be in the moment. I thought I lost the track, but there's just these, I mean, it's pretty high. I don't want to let go, to be honest, but you're just climbing up these metal chains. <laughs> and then, yeet, all the way down. <laughs> this is probably one of the hardest bits of the, the walk so far. The terrain is just up and down no flat bits and a lot of it's just make it up as you go. I was pretty high up at this point, around 1,200 meters. Those were all the peaks I'd come over. So 
the end is in sight. Somewhere down there, you got the cliffs and just the ocean. Oh, that's a good sight. Just heading out of the town of Luke and I've got myself some burger and chips takeaway. So I'm just gonna head out and find myself a place to camp, but small little village, got a coffee. Oh, I just felt happy just to be there. Just, ah. I was in the mountains all day today. It's, uh, it's about 4.30 p.m. But about now we're left to sunlight, so. Just outside of town, I set up camp for what will be the final night. I ate my last supper and made sure to enjoy it. It started to rain in the middle of the night. It really helped me fall asleep. I was up nice and early. It was time to head towards the coast. The sun wasn't out, but that didn't matter. You definitely hear the sheep before you see them in Mallorca. The final morning, so I got up pretty early and I set off, been walking for about two hours. I'm about eight miles away from the end point in Polenza or Port Polenza. Fatigue is setting, I feel awful. I'm walking along this just Nice, luxury, straight, flat, narrow road, and you don't understand how good it feels. I just come down off the mountains. And, uh, it's just a slow decline now, so I can enjoy it. <laughs> it's been freezing up on them hills. I've got all my layers on, uh, but now I'm in the sun. It's slightly warmer. Uh, deceptively cold in Mallorca, but I've enjoyed it been uh, good so far. We're still not there yet. Something could go horribly wrong. <laughs> so, gotta get my head in the game. Just one hour to go. The closer I got, the quicker I seemed to walk. All I had to do was follow the straight road. The sound of traffic was a pleasant change from the silentness of all the hills. I entered the outskirts of Palenza. It wasn't long before I'd see the finish. I've finally arrived, let me show you around. Port di Palenza. Uh, at least it's sunny, but that was a tough hike, tough, that was way tougher than I expected, but I enjoyed it, I was just satisfied, them last few miles were amazing, just, I got like a new, just a new pair of legs almost, it was, it was great, uh, I expected to do it in about four days, took me six, five and a half maybe, but, I am beat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep so well. God. Yeah, lots of beers and sleep. That's my medicine. <laughs>